Us. Right. I mean, K9's always passionate yes. about everything. I love the passion, actually. Yeah. You know, it's just one of his like key features, passion. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm interested to see why he went uh, Sheik against Joker. I figure, like, his Wolf would probably be, like, his strongest character, you know? Well, I think the mentality is that he just wants to match frame data and speed against frame data and speed. You know, both these characters, they have similar movements right. and uh, play styles. Even, like, some of their traps, like, with downward guns and um, needles. Right. They can they, they fill the, the same type of niche. I, I can see that, but I feel like the main difference between like Sheik and Joker is that Joker, you know, he goes from a niche like, okay, yeah, I have uh, excellent frame data, but like not so stellar like damage output, to guess what, I can kill you off of a single hit. But as I say, getting killed off of a single hit, that up B is going to take out Nitro's stock at a really early percent. I feel like it's only at like 60 before the hit. Yeah, and that's really what K9's game plan is going to be. He's okay with uh, Nitro getting Arsene as long as he puts Nitro in uh, off stage or near the edge. Because then at that point, you know, he can really exploit his frame data right. to make sure that Nitro doesn't get a get out of jail free card. And even uh, challenge Nitro's recovery when he's forced to up B. Right. He has that linear recovery, very easy to challenge. Yeah. And you know what they say? That, that's kind of like the one thing that does get ground data from Arsene, like is that up B. Because like, you would think that like, oh, tether recoveries are like kind of like, mediocre at best just because like they don't have like a lot of rain but like joker's tether can cover from like the depths of hell and still make it back i, I honestly think it's better than uh our setup being so and this is the position that k9 doesn't want to be in you know he's at 140 percent very close to death nitro only at 48 with um with arson out I mean, even a back air from across the stage was enough to take the stock. So really what KDM was looking for is just to run the clock, you know, maybe chuck some needles to burn the meter on Arsene, and then use that rage to his advantage. But that rage is gone now. And now we're going to see what Nitro can do at the ledge. I mean, he did manage to get a little bit of a sizable lead. So if he can keep this lead and potentially, like, you know, get an early kill before he gets Arsene back, because unless he gets uh, uh, Rebels uh, re or Rebellion Guard, uh, then, like, he won't get or send back really quickly. Okay, even with the, the small hits that K9's been putting out, like Rebel Guard will absorb one hit of fair maybe or a cross up Nair. That's not gonna give him too much meter, but it is still like more than nothing. Oh yeah. But we're we're not even seeing Nitro go for Rebel's Guard. Definitely I don't think he wants to go for Rebel's Guard just because she gets such like fast frame data that is, if, he, if he throws it out, he's gonna get punished for it. And like everybody knows that like oh you just grab it. And I feel like with Sheik, with her speed, with her aerial mobility, she can easily get that grab. Okay, well, Arsene is back, and this is Arsene number two for this stock. And look at the barrage of back airs is coming from Nitro. Are you even using the Aha? Getting the grab off of ledge, and now going for the edge guard. With opting just to like sit back on stage and kind of waiting for the get up option instead. Yeah, another barrage of back airs, but K9 is able to weave around. Lands the down tilt into up air, and there goes that Arsene. All that meter wasted and gone. And now we see K9 in a similar position where he's got a good amount of rage. He wants to use it to his advantage. Right. I mean, definitely, like, that one, like, kill confirm is so critical for Sheik's gameplay. Like, she she needed something. Because, like, if she didn't have, like, anything, she could honestly be, like, a bottom tier character. But, like, she has, like, very strong, like, single hit options in terms of, like, bouncing fish and in terms of, like, a B, but like in terms of her bread and butter is like getting combos with that fair and going for like back air or near edge guards, you know? So if you're a character that has like a good recovery or like can challenge Sheik's edge guarding, then like Sheik is gonna really struggle in the matchup. And you saw it right there with like Joker, like as long as he can clean up the stock and get Arsene, like he's more than able to challenge uh, Sheik to the first hat. Okay, well Arsene is back and that's a big down air, but good tech coming from K9 to make sure that uh, Nitro doesn't get a very, very dangerous follow-up. I'm pretty sure that would have been a back air at the ledge, man. <laughs> You've seen how early that you know, Arsene's back air can kill. And now we just wait for the clock to run out on Arsene. You know, I feel like this is going to be so critical is that can K9 uh, just wait it out? And yes, he does, but you know what? 75% is still not a very, very dangerous percent for Nitro right now. Like, he can afford to get hit by, like, two or three more things. It's more so, like, when he gets to, like, 115, 120-ish that he has to worry about, like, down to up air confirming. 
Well, I mean, but wait. did I say 110? No, no. He only needs to be at 100 for a down tilt to up smash to connect. And what I was going to say is that we're going to see K9 and Nitro actually fishing for the same kill confirm, and that's going to be up smash. Right. You know, K9 was able to get the down tilt at the ledge into up smash. Uh, well, Nitro actually tried to get a drag down into up smash, but right. K9 was able to escape. I mean, I definitely feel like the difference between their, their kill confirms is that K9 gets it off of the ground while Nitro gets it off in the air. So I feel like in terms of like frame data wise, like it's a lot easier for K9 to kind of anticipate Nitro's uh, kill confirm Well, chance. now, wait, K9 also gets it off the up air. I mean, I was thinking more like, uh, like fair one into like up smash, you know? And I feel like, you know, like... Oh, drag down fair one? Yeah, like drag down fair one, and then like, uh, like, like up smash afterwards, or like Don't down you smash. Go for down smash at that point. Uh, I mean, it, it depends on like, because like sometimes if you get fair one, then like it pops them up, especially on the platforms. So then like you just go for the up smash instead. Okay, well this is the the damage and the percent that Kane is looking for. But Arson's able to make it back to stage. Now Nitro needs to escape the corner, otherwise we're gonna see a very similar start to game two that we saw in game one. Right. Looks like he's using downward guns to apply pressure and even a little bit of damage on the canine. And yet again, that invincibility on the up B star he managed to barely avoid the Agar right there. Downward oh. guns, and yet again, nice of him to just hold shield, knowing that like a lot of jokers, they'll, if they downward's gun, you can almost be rest assured that they'll back air as soon as like they can, just to avoid like any like hard landing lag. Ooh, good call. We just saw another downward guns in the back air. Ooh, we try to back air to challenge the bouncing fish. We know the bouncing fish is going to come out just a little bit quicker. Yeah, he gets the back air, the double jump, and no, I'm not going to be able to find the, the two frame on the recovery. That's right. More needles coming from K9. Air dodging past the Aha. Another Nair for Nitro. Yet again, you know, Nitro just kind of sitting in between him and the stage just to, you know, take very, very strong control of the center stage. There's a Nair to catch the jump, and, you know, it manages to tether high to avoid the Nair down low. A couple of down tilts coming from K9. Both players looking for their kill condition. I mean, they're both at kill percent, so all they need is that, like, one hit into the kill. Well, even right there, you can see, like, the short hop. Uh, up air from K9. He was looking to see if that could connect because then he can get a fastball, but instead we get another down tilt into up there. Yeah, getting that, uh, that pretty much two frame on the get up option. That's just K9's like super hyper focused reaction time, too. Definitely, I feel like when K9 like, is in his zone and is in his mental game, like he's just like infinitely a better player. You know, I feel like right now we are seeing that K9 that's like in his zone and is like, okay, I have my game plan, I have my aggro, and I'm going to just hit you and you're not going to be able to do anything about it just because I'm going to punish anything you want to do just like that. Like, you saw him trying to go for ledge and he's just there. Oh, you, you want to air dodge? No, I'm going to wait for that and there you again for it. Yeah, but we saw a very patient Nitro actually uh, allowing himself to drift a little bit lower before committing to his up B, which means that uh, he would just weave by the vanish, even closing the stock on K9. You know, our scent is gone, but like not for long, just because it's going to be another like 120, 130 percent, and by that point, our will probably be like mostly filled by that point. Oh, using the stall from the down air, you can actually combo that into up smash as well. Going for the up throw up air, not going to be able to connect to the up B, but you know, it was a nice catch, but almost dying to that board smash right there. Getting hit by the Nair, did he use his double jump? Yo, know, it doesn't matter just because that hook just catches so much distance. True, now Arson is back, the man of the hour. 59% at the ledge, that sounds like prime percent to me. Oh, this is prime percent for like down air to kill, it's prime percent for back air to ki kill. Oh! Punishing the whip, wake of attack with a throw, forward throw, keeping K9 at the ledge. Ooh, all that shield yeah, pressure. Yeah. Oh my god, all that shield damage. And you know, he's like, okay, there's one, there's two. After getting hit by the second one, he's like, okay, you're probably going to roll in. So he covered the roll with the third one. And just like that, Nitro no, took the lead of the game. That's right. 152%. Uh, doesn't exactly give K9 a lot of 
kill options, uh, especially with no rage. We are approaching rage. Yeah, look at that, he's got rage one. Yeah, again, that drag down combo just adding another like 20% to his uh, damage. And now you see Nitro kind of like holding back, just staying content to throw out guns. But you know what? That misspace Nair will be punished with a kill, confirmed with the down tilt. Dash attack connection from Nitro. Now he's spacing out his attacks, really just with punishing K9 as he tries to approach with these forward airs. All right. Now this is so critical for K9 because you know he has to either end him quickly or make sure that like gets gets an early game because the second that Nitro gets our sand, it's about 30 seconds of pain that he has to deal with. And if he can live through that, he might be able to bring this game back. But yet again, timer's on the clock and it's up to K9 to kind of uh, live through our sand at this point. Right, so you're getting a pump, few pummels that's going to lower the timer on Arsene. Honestly, I don't think Canine's trying to lift past the Arson. He's trying to abuse Arson and make it work against Nitro. Right. You can see, like, Nitro just took a good amount of damage just trying to recover with Arson. Yeah. And you see, just Canine just really abusing his advantage stage, you know, making sure that you know, Nitro wasn't going to be able to come back. Now he's off stage, looking for the edge guard, but Uppy not going to be able to find it, but he goes in so deep that he can't recover. And that's you know just, you know, the pressure of being off stage. Having a very quick cheek throwing needles at you, swinging, and you know, explosions in your face. Right. I feel like what made that edge guard so good on K9's part is that he went for the bouncing fish, knowing that he still had his double jump to make it back with the up beat. You know? Because uh, that bouncing fish definitely scared Nitro into like drifting back. And because if he, if he had double jumped after the bouncing fish, he would have been hit by the up beat. And so, yet again, that, that just caused Nitro to just drift far enough away where his tether couldn't connect anymore. All right, well, that's going to put K9 one game away uh, from advancing into grand finals over Nitro. All right. Yet again, getting these grab combos, getting the re-grab with the up B. Well, ending that like little string off with 54% is really good damage on Nitro's part. But yet again, K9 coming in with his string of his own right there, almost evening up the percents. Here we're going to see a forward throw. It's a bouncing fish with good Rebels Guard. He's going to make sure that he keeps his position. But actually, that Rebel Guard looking like it's starting to work against Nitro. Oh, he went for a super greedy smash attack. But, you know, I feel like he was, he was expecting, you know, Nitro to come in with a dare. And so he was trying to up smash to, like, anti it. Which definitely would have killed if it beat out the dare, but like I feel like at the same time, like if it didn't, then like he would have gotten hit by the dare, and that would have been dare up there. Okay, turn around, S smash, even a down smash. Everything's whiffing. Another whiffed attack from Nitro. With just guns to just tack on a couple of extra percent. Gets the re grab on ledge. And back on the ledge he goes. Yep. And again, you know what? This is very, very dangerous for K9's part. Getting to the forward tail. Not pulling the trigger on the up air. Kind of waiting for an option on the ground. But yeah, It looks like he hesitated. Maybe he didn't expect that until to actually connect. But by the time he did empty hop, uh, Nitro already retook control of his character. All the hit stun was gone. There we go. Forward tail and the up air will finish off that first stock. You know, Nitro really has to find a way to end you know, K9's stock before he takes a significant lead. And that can kind of be like the bane of playing Joker is that, you know, you have good frame data, you have good kill options with Arsene, but like without Arsene, like your kill options are very limited. Or at least like they're very telegraphed. Because in the sense that like everybody knows that like, oh, you're probably going to go into fair one or drag down up air. And as long as I shield those, like I can kind of avoid those options. Yeah, it looks like Nitro actually went for the mix up. Last time, uh, Kanan was at an extremely high percent. He went for the down throw, which, uh, took K9 stock before we killed him, just like that. Yeah. Uh, but a little bit earlier, he was pummeling K9 um, and tried to get the DI mix up with the up throw, but K9 did not fall for it. You see another down throw. And look at the recap. Ooh, so smooth. Yet again, that was so good for K9 or for uh, Nitro's part, just because now he's got our send. And he can really take a commanding lead if he can get in a couple of hits, but I don't think K9's going to let him. Or even that there, like, didn't get punished off of it. You know, not a whole lot of end lag on that move for how, like, high committable it is. 
Okay, good dash stance, applying pressure with just your movement. Our canine gets a grab and a back throw. Ooh, waiting out Arsen. S Smash going to whiff. Ooh. Is it there in a bouncing fish? Is that going to take it? Yes, it will. Oh my god, that was such a clean confirm from K9's part, and now oh, he's sitting comfortably with the lead. You know, only 73%, and you know what? Even if he loses the stock, he still has another one fresh in the back of his pocket. Oh, but Arsene coming in clutch, actually making sure that the last back air doesn't connect, and no. landing a back air of his own. Oh my god. You know, I said that, like, Nair Bouncing Fish took that stock early. That that back air just stole this, the momentum of K9. That's true, but now... At the point where he has to wait out this Arsen, maybe apply a little bit more damage with some needles, get any hit he can at really to make this meter go away, but at this point, just wait it out. Right. Timer, the clock's about to strike midnight, and there goes Arsen. Right. And now getting that Nair off stage, trying to go for a third one just to finish him off, but I know I'm not going to be able to get there in time. And here we go, there's the Nair. You know, I feel like he's, yeah, he was definitely looking for that Nair bouncing fish again. Yeah, good DI from Nitro. You know, he got dragged down with the up air. He was able to SDI away from K9, making sure that he doesn't re-land on that platform so K9 can reset. Now we see K9 just, you know, trying to sit back, trying to, like, not really fall into any of Nitro's up. No frame traps. That's true. Another F tilt. He keeps poking K9. Right. You know, the longer this game drags out, the more an advantage that Nitro's going to get. Oh, he read the tech option, but you know what? Just didn't realize that no, Arsene would have rolled that far in. Okay, grabbing Nitro out of shield. Nose looking for the second jump. Oh, good stong, good guard. Oh my god, he, he, F, he F smashed in the wrong direction. Gets hit by the Aegon, not going to be able to quite be enough, but you know what? That's a 20% projectile right there over time. So, yet again, 154. This is super dangerous for K9. It's actually dangerous for Nitro as well, 150% against a max raid Sheik. It's both these players at kill percent, this is anyone's game. Oh, can he make it back? I don't think so. Oh, the the downwards gun's just barely hitting K9 far enough away. And you know what? I feel like the, the rage on the gun might have just given him enough like pushback just to like make sure that K9 couldn't come back. And those are just them arson bullets. Yeah. You know what the strange thing about those bolts is, is that it's not a straightward downward hitbox, it's like a cone shape. Yeah. So, like, those bullets have, like, widespread on those. Yeah, man, spray and pray. Yeah. Like, those aren't pistols, those are shotguns that he's wielding in his hands. And he has arsenal, it's more like a machine gun. Just, just the rapid fire. Those the automatic guns right there, oh lord. Hey, no fully auto. This isn't full auto? No, <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh my god, please tell me you've seen that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, All right, here we go. No, K9 just really chasing down his uh, pressure. But no, gonna finally uh, lose it. But yet again, he's off stage now. Just waiting to like see what option's gonna pick uh, to get back on stage. And Nitro almost having uh, our second back. Using bounces, even stalling with the down air, applying more pressure. And here we go. Here's oh, yep. Here comes trap time. Right. And again, there's that Nair coming in, the long lasting hitbox, and unfortunately did not tech it. Yeah, that was even a rising Nair, yeah. so it would have been very difficult for for Nitro. Um, to like realize that like okay I need to attack it. No, it was more like the the timing to avoid the rising nair was very strict. Right. So he, he was pretty much gonna get hit with nair. He just needed to accept the fact that he needed to attack. Right. And again, bouncing guys to kind of escape pressure right there. He gets a forward hit off of the dash attack. He jumps. Wow, he jumped over the Aegon, but then just rolls right back into it immediately afterwards. True, but he does have a stock lead with K9 uh, at max rates now. And with uh, the meter almost gone on Nitro, this could kind of be the key position that K9 wants to be in. And there he goes. Now it's time for K9 to really... Oh, why would you down tilt that? What are you doing? There's a forward throw. You know, and now he has to worry about back throw potentially killing at this point. 
like back throw or down throw, depending on where he is on stage. But drag down or like falling up air is gonna take out the stock instead. It's all because he down tilted. it. Again, trying to run away, you no, know, baiting out a K9 or a Nitro to approach, but. No, throwing out that S smash, no, Nitro was not falling for that bait. And, you know, gets a little punish off the self. Gets Arsene back, and you know what? He can definitely make up the percent if he can keep Arsene. But, you know what? As I say that, he <laughs> counters the bouncing, or the needles, the bouncing fish. Oh my god, K9 not going to be happy about that. I'm not surprised. It's like a frame three or four counter. It can counter anything. <laughs> That that counter is a jail, get out of jail free card. Like oh my god, and like if you if you just barely nick it, it is like okay. Let me just have a big old explosion like above and like below and behind me, so that it just hits everything in front. Yeah, K9 is tilted. You know I can completely understand, but it's kind of he needs to shake it off. Really uh, secure this kill for the second stock, and we'll start working on the third if he wants to advance to grand finals. I feel like that's like. One of K9's biggest weaknesses is that, like, once he like gets tilted, once he like Trick starts it? feeling, once he starts feeling like he's losing, like he like really like hones in on that mentality. And you know, he in fact becomes shooketh. Yet again, you know what? Nitro is just playing a lot more patient. You know, just not letting K9 get. Any of his kill confirms, but he knows that like okay, K9 doesn't really have any like kill confirms off of grab, so I could just stay in shield and wait for K9 to approach me and kind of just like anti air him. And what do I care if I get hit by like a needle or two? I'm already at like 170, you know. Exactly. A needle or two is not gonna make that much of a difference. In fact, if he takes enough needles, he'll actually get another arson. Right. Yeah, again, not getting tippered down tail, so he's not gonna be able to tumble off of it either. Oh, here he comes. Yeah. I'm back. But here we go. I mean, Arsene with on the field, you know, he's at 120. You know, this is going to be a really, really hard comeback. Dash attack takes it of all things. But yet again, he did eat an Aegon, so he's at 134. But ooh, that forward smash is just going to catch the landing right there. Nitro takes game four. That's right. We're going to game five. Game five, ladies and gentlemen. Sheik versus Joker. And I wonder if we're going to see the, the, the switch off of Sheik. You know, he lost game three. I don't think like, so. Game three was close. Game four was like, okay, Nitro is kind of like learning the matchup. So I wonder if he's going to switch off of the Sheik to just like kind of like reset his like mental game. Well, what was the score on the winner's side between him and Nitro? Was I feel it? like it was 3-0. It was 3-0. I definitely would not be the wolf into this matchup, especially when he's been having success with Sheik. Maybe Lucina. I mean, it, it, it might have been a game five situation, but. No, regardless. Yeah, he's definitely oh. considering it. Oh, he is. Is he gonna do it? No, he gets right. You locked. No. Oh, he's he's like he, he's thinking in the back of his mind, like, okay. Man, this is actually the worst part of playing more than one character. Is yeah. You start to second guess your which character you should lock in. Right. Three, two, one. I mean, go. it is the wolf, and like if. If anything, if you lose with, like, this is his best character. So, like, I feel like he can still pull out this game and be, like, happy with the results regardless. True. But at the same time, I mean, it's Wolf. It Everyone wolf. knows what to do against the Wolf. Yeah. You just knows. bully him off stage. I feel like as opposed to the last game, you know, like Wolf is going to be able to get a lot of those kills like a lot earlier than Sheik will, you know? Because you saw Nitro was constantly living to like 170, 180%, you know? So with the Wolf, all he needs is like just one solid hit just to get that kill. That's true. All right, off stage. Trying to avoid guns, but gets sniped by that side feed. And oh my god, that just shifted all the momentum into K9's favor right there. All right, well, I mean, that's one way to bring back a match. Especially if it seemed like Nitro was in control this first stock. 
Ooh, and tried, yeah, down tried smash. flashing the stage, and you know what? The down smash is going to cover it. Can't really blame K9. He did have success the earlier play with Flash. Right. Here we go. No, both players often just kind of played like the, I'm just going to throw out aerials in a safe space and just see what the other opponent does. I mean, they're both trying to, like, whip or uh, bait like, their opponent in as well. Right. Let's Definitely see. trying to whip punish their option. Mm -hmm. Pack hair out of shield. Backwards, aerial. Oh, catching the end lag on the side beam right there. Trying to go for the Nair to cover the high recovery, but gets the down air to up smash. Not going to be enough, but no, that was big damage. And you know what? Arsen barely running out in time. If he had Arsen, that probably would have killed, too. Yeah, probably would have. So that's a... Uh, you know, fairy godmother looking in K9's way. Yeah. It was like, okay, I'm not going to let your stock end that early. Yeah, maybe the next one. We'll yeah. see. But Nitro has some work to do if he wants to see another Arsen. Right. Ooh, tried dash attacking, but you know what? Just going to barely misface it. Gets the grab in the forward throw. Catches the no tech with the forward tilt. Oh, yeehaw, right out of here. Yet again, he's gonna try to catch the getup option. He, you know what? I feel like he read the the neutral getup and he went for the up tilt. But you know what? Nitro was able to just spot dodge immediately as soon as he got off ledge. I'm surprised that up tilt was space that he couldn't grab it afterwards. Like that is like excellent spacing from uh, K9's part right there. Knowing that like space it so that like if it hits, it'll kill. And if it doesn't, then like I'm I'm safe. But yeah, down throw. Yeah. Unfortunately for K9 though, when he uh, spaces up tilt. Uh, Push Nitro just far enough away that another up tilt wouldn't connect, which is really what he was looking for. You know, he's trying to bait Nitro in and then punish the grab. Right. Uh, but very unfortunate for him. But cleaning up the last stock, and now we are game five, one stock apiece. Presents almost even. Right. Here we go. You know, this is where K9 is kind of like in the driver's seat at this point. You know, he's at the low percent. He's doesn't have to deal with our send for the moment. And long as he can kind of, like, keep this lead against Nitro, like, if he can, like, you know, burn out our send by hitting it out of him, like, literally, then he might be able to uh, beat out our send before it can be a big problem. But there's the down air to bear. Oh, immediately going for the counter yep. in case uh, we saw our early recovery from K9. But Vecchi holds on to his recovery. All right. Now Nitro just with a commanding lead in full control of the stage. Yep. Just like that, one more hit will probably be the end for K9. But just like that, Arsene disappears. Now, this is K9's do or die moment right here. Okay, F smash into down smash. Nitro not falling for that. Ooh, oh, good angle. You know, I, I'm surprised that like Nitro wasn't able to punish that. I feel like he thought like, oh, it's gonna be like Fox. It's gonna go super deep in. I need to punish it. But like, he could have easily gone down smash for that. Well, I think he was still in the down tilt animation because he was expecting for, for K9 to go for life. Right. Yet again, trying going for up smash, but Woo! down smash nearly breaking the shield. I, I mean, he was hoping it would break at that point. He's looking for a shield poke, yeah. or for the shield break, but neither happened. Now K9 stuck at the ledge again. Right. More back airs. Dash tech going to get blocked into a down throw. Right. Good DI from K9. And here's another down throw. That should actually. Ooh, no, oh. he staled it. And oh, the third this one. This should do it. This should do it. Yeah. Boom. No, he what? super staled it. Flood armor. Shenanigans. Oh my god. I'm calling shenanigans. No, if K9 steals this game after that. Oh Nair my god. Oh, oh. No. He wanted the up tilt, and no, Nitro just barely hopping over it with the Nair. You know, if K9 had won that, I would have taken full credit mm. because I, you know, was warming him up and. Giving him that Arsene Joker practice? Actually, I wasn't. Oh. I, was, I was going full Terry Bogard. Oh. But I still would have taken credit regardless because I had warmed him up for his set against Nitro.